Today we are going to be starting our rainforest report. So we are going to be looking at the first page inside of our rainforest report. If you haven't yet, you should have colored the color. I think I did a pretty good job. I'm pretty proud of the work I did. I used crayon and marker to add lots of detail. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. Um, I made sure that I wrote my name down here because it says my rainforest report. Bye. And it can't say blank. It's got to say your name because you're the author. Um, so maybe after this video, if you haven't done the cover yet, do the cover. Once you do it, send me a picture. I want to see your beautiful professional work. All right. So we are going to dive right in and start learning about the rainforest layers. So I've got a poster right here mm -hmm, with the four layers of the rainforest. At the top, we've got the emergent layer. Underneath that, we have the canopy, and then the understory, and then the floor. Um, Mrs. Goldbranson came up with a really fun movement last year. So the emergent layers at the top. So we put our hands up like this, emergent, and then canopy. It's kind of like in the middle, right? And then the understory, that's right here, and then the floor, all the way to the ground. So emergent, canopy, it's like an umbrella, understory and floor. So it's kind of like head, shoulders, knees, and toes. All right, so each layer of the rainforest has a special purpose, and we're gonna learn a little bit about each layer. Are you ready? Are you excited? What do you think the first one we're gonna do is? The emergent, canopy, understory, or floor. Think about it. The first one we're gonna learn about is the floor. So the floor is the ground of the rainforest. On my special poster, it says, the rainforest floor is the bottom layer. It's covered in rotting leaves and twigs. It has some ferns and bushes. So rotting leaves, twigs, ferns, and bushes. That sounds like a lot of plants. I wonder if there's any animals. Jaguars, anacondas, capybaras, cutter ants, and armadillos make their homes here. Interesting. Do you guys know what a jaguar, an anaconda, a, cap a capybara, a cutter ant, or an armadillo is? If you don't, ask your family if you can google that and maybe you can see what those look like. It says the animals are not as noisy on the forest floor. Hmm, interesting fact. So the animals that live on the forest floor are kind of quiet. Cool. It says it is dark and gloomy with little breeze and humid air. So humid air is kind of like hot air. You know when you take a bath or a shower and it's kind of like hot air in there and it causes fog? That's humid. Um, and it's dark and gloomy. So interesting. Rivers and streams wind through the forest floor. Piranhas and snakes swim through those waters. Interesting. So we've got some rivers and some streams full of piranhas and snakes. Good to know. So the rainforest floor is a quiet, dark place, and it's got a few animals and some plants. What do you think the next part we are going to talk about is? We just talked about the floor. Do you think it's gonna be the emergent layer, the canopy, or the understory? Give me your guess, think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. Next part, understory. That's that second layer, kind of like when we're doing the emergent canopy, understory floor, the emergent layer is right there at your hip line. So the understory is dark, shadowy, and gloomy. Interesting, kind of like the floor. The trees grow about 15 feet high. Interesting. That's like three of me if you stack me on top of each other. It is humid with very little wind. Now remember, humid is kind of like when it's hot and sticky and there's not very much wind, so I don't think it's super comfortable at that level. You can find oslets, lizard, hosen birds, and jaguars living here. Interesting. Remember, if you want to look up any of those animals, make sure you ask your family first and you guys can maybe look up some pictures. Animals use hanging vines called lianas as ropes and bridges. Interesting. They use ropes and bridges and they use vines to make those. Pretty cool. So that's the understory. So far, we've talked about the floor, the understory. What do you think is next? If you guessed canopy, you were totally right. Good job. Okay. The canopy is like an umbrella. 
can pee. Um, it covers the for the rainforest. The leaves and branches of the trees are close together and there's li and let little sunlight in. So they kind of act like an umbrella and they don't let very much sunlight in. It has sunshine and rain. Most of the animals of the rainforest live here, so it's a noisy place. Most of the animals live there. That would explain why it's so loud. Trees are more than 100 feet tall. That's pretty tall. Blue morpho butterflies, toucan sloths, howler monkeys, red-eyed tree frogs, and tree boas live there. That's a lot of animals. And spoiler alert, we're going to learn about some of those animals. Pretty exciting. Okay, we've talked about three layers so far. We've talked about the floor. We've talked about the understory. We've talked about the canopy. The last one is the emergent layer. That is the top of the rainforest. Trees are taller than the other trees in the rainforest. Spider monkeys, macaws, and woolly the woolly mouse opossum, bats, and the harpy eagle live here. Some trees grow as tall as 200 feet high. 100 feet high, really tall. It is hot, dry, and has strong winds. Interesting. The leaves and the plants are waxy. Waxy, hmm. Waxy is kind of what candles feel like, or like sometimes when you buy certain fruit from the store, it'll kind of have like this like sticky outside that makes it shiny, that's called wax. Um, most of the time we washed off our vegetables but it usually wouldn't hurt us that bad. But the plant, the leaves and the plants up there have that waxy texture. So it's kind of like slick and a little sticky. So that's all about the emergent layer. So we have four layers of the rainforest. We've got the emergent layer, the canopy, it's like an umbrella, the understory, which is kind of like our waste area, and the floor all the way to the ground. So you guys are going to get out your rainforest reports and we are going to turn to the layers page. I'm going to put this under my document camera so that you guys can see what I'm talking about um, and see it a little bit better. And then I'm going to show you that special coloring I was talking about. So here is my rainforest report. I am going to turn it open and first thing I have is a table of contents. And we're going to do the rainforest layers. So we need to turn one more page. And here is the rainforest layers. Now, good news, we have something that we can kind of look off of. This is my poster, and it looks really similar. Might even be the same picture. So I know that a lot of this is going to be the tops of trees. And down here, there's some little plants. The floor is kind of that dark color. And then we've got the trees and branches. So I'm going to show you guys a technique that I would really like you to start using where we color the inside a certain color and then we use a marker to give it an outline. So for example, let's say that I want to color this green. So I'm going to color it as nicely as I can. And sometimes it gets a little bit out of the lines and that's okay. We just want to do our best. We want to try our best because this is our professional report, you know. So I'm coloring as nice as I can using this beautiful green color for the tree. And I'm just gonna keep coloring till I fill in that space because we don't want any white space. Because we want to be as beautiful as we can, as professional as it can be. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like a green marker and what you do is you outline. So see where the black line is? I'm just gonna outline that with green marker. And it gives it some detail that it didn't have before. So it kind of looks like that. I am going to pause my video and kind of make it do a fast forward thing so you guys can see what it looks like at the end after I put in all that detail and I use all the different colors to make it a really beautiful drawing. So I'll be right back with that fast forward, okay, you guys? All right, you guys, I am back. I just finished coloring my whole entire paper. As you can see, I don't have any white space, even the background. 
um, has color. Um, I kind of did kind of this gloomy gray at first because remember the floor is pretty gloomy um, and kind of dark. And then I made it a little lighter dark so it wasn't as dark, but um, opening up a little bit of light. And then I did this kind of like bluish gray kind of as we go up higher. And then at the top I did a blue um, just to show that like more sunlight and more of the sky is coming in. Um, I used different browns for my different tree trunks and for my different trees. I use different green kind of to just add more detail. And if you can't tell, what I did was um, I colored it in green and then I did a yellow over it to give it a little more texture. Um, and with all that stuff, I really outlined it with the green and the brown markers just to make it pop a little bit more. And if you are really impressed by this, let me know. I did raindrops because it's a rain forest. Um, I did raindrops everywhere except for the floor because remember the rain doesn't get down to the floor. The trees catch it all. So that is my rainforest layers. As you can see, I took a lot of time on it. Um, and I hope you do the same thing because this is your professional report. Okay. Your best work is what I want to see. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Um, work really super duper hard on this. Once you finish your rainforest layers, and if you haven't done your cover yet, do your cover, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.